Today, we're gonna be hauling another brand that I have never hauled before. I think I've purchased like an occasional piece from them, but it's been a brand I've been curious about for a while, but also hesitant because honestly, I had found the fit to be a little inconsistent, but recently their stuff has been way too cute to ignore. So I figured it was time that we do their inaugural haul. Yes, we are hauling Arula. So let's get into it. What in the Taylor Swift was I thinking when I got this dress? <laughs> Where am I going to wear this? Answer, everywhere. Um, I love it, but golly gosh, she's really short. She is really short. So this is a leggings only situation. I'm probably gonna try it on with leggings because if it looks cute, I might wear it that way because these like long kind of peplum tops with leggings is actually coming back in. And even though this is technically a dress on tall girls like me, it's more like, you know, it's more like, what do you call that, a tunic? Ooh, tunic just sounds unsexy. Like no one's like, I'll be right back. I'm just going to throw on a tunic. <laughs> no one. No one said that ever in the history of mankind. No, probably someone did say that. The reality is, is there's something for everyone and there's someone out there who's into tunics. And for that person, this dress might be a great purchase. Okay, first reaction. Love the sleeves. I just wish it was a little bit longer. Just like a little bit. I mean, it covers everything, but I just want a little bit longer. Just taking it out of the package, I was like, oh my gosh, because it is so soft. It is so soft, like buttery, soft, airy. I, it's also like cool, but also will keep you warm. I'm very confused by it, but I know one thing for sure, I love it. It is this, I, I can't really remember what they call this fabric. Also, I hate the way they size their products. I'm just gonna say it. I'm a size C, which is for captivating, which is just like a 3X. Just call it a 3X. I don't need to be told that I'm captivating. Anyway, side rant. Um, I don't remember what this fabric is called. It has a series of softening treatments to it, but man, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing. And the color is a color I don't normally wear, but I wanted to try. Of course, I just got matching pants because... Who doesn't need a good pair of black sweatpants? And again, I'm in size captivating. God, I hate that. It's so pedantic. It's so like, I just feel like you can just tell me my size. You don't need to like compliment me because there's nothing wrong with being whatever size you are. So we don't need to imply that there's something wrong by buttering people up when they wear it. That's just my perspective. Maybe you guys love it, but I, I don't. Um, this is a t-shirt that I just got because I actually love Zion. Zion park um is like one of my favorite places to hike it's also the name of john's dog so dual value in this one but i felt like i needed a t-shirt to try on all of this to get like the real vibe um but i absolutely love this tea more than i should it's just a t-shirt it's an overpriced t-shirt but for some reason i really like it and i might keep it and that makes me hate myself a little bit because there's no reason you should spend i think 50 dollars on a t-shirt it's just too much it's too much, but yet I still want it. This is the curse of being a woman right there. I know it's too much, but am I still gonna keep it? Probably. I feel like my memoir, if written in this season of my life would be, why is everything cropped? Why? Cause these are a dream pant, but they are definitely too short. And I'm still on the fence about this tea. I don't know if it's worth it. You guys gotta let me know if I should keep it. Now this, here's my issue with it. I didn't like how it tied around my waist. I like to have a good arm length. And this means that it's probably gonna be like the pants. Yep, short in the arms. So what we're learning is, oh, but I like this. I didn't even notice that, which is great for the girls with the butts. Oh, okay, maybe I don't hate this. I guess I just have to wear it like this, cause it's a little too short. I'm not mad at it. Look, I love a good red dress and I will always love a good red dress. And as we move into like the Christmas holiday season, pretty much all I wear is red and green cause I love to be festive AF, it's just who I am. So this is like the perfect little festive dress. You put it with a, like a little green belt. I know it's not Christmas. I know that it's way too soon to be thinking about Christmas, but let me live my dream. Let me be as, you know, what is the term for someone that loves Christmas? 
as hallmark as I want to be because this is cute and it just it makes me think of Christmas and that makes me happy. I feel like I'm gonna go like sexy milk some cows or something like my name is Helga and I live on a farm but it's like a very sexy farm and everyone's really hot and we will milk made dresses in bright colors to like show off I don't have boobs I don't know what I'm showing off here but I'm gonna sexy milk a cow and that is for sure one thing that I am trying to do as my body changes is to try denim um, previously I would occasionally buy denim but I would really avoid it because just in most companies didn't fit me well but now as my body's changing I'm seeing that I have more options so I got a pair of jeans say your prayer for me um I thought these looked really cute I like that they kind of flared at the bottom and I like this belt that I can leave it on or take it off with it this waffle knit top is so soft and I love the like hemline of it I think it's super good for everybody if you're not as comfortable with your stomach, this peplum will cover it. Again, you don't have to cover your body, but if you choose to cover your body because that makes you feel better, that's okay too. And this is a great shirt to do it in. I have white just because it looks good with cardigans and stuff, you know, for the layered look. Now, speaking of the layered look, this is the cutest cardigan. Look at this, like the little flowers on it. It's soft, it's comfy cozy, it's a chunky knit. It's honestly great. And I think this little outfit together is gonna be like so cute. And if I had kids, this is what I would wear to pick them up from school. Like I'd look super chic, but it'd be super comfortable. And everyone would be like, oh my gosh, that mom has it all put together. But secretly I'd be like, joke's on you. This is an outfit that looks classy AF, but it's really just pajamas in disguise. Which again, as we've said many times on this channel, is my ideal aesthetic. Pajamas in disguise. I just see this outfit and I'm like, isn't she sweet? Like this top, I love this cut. It's such a good cut. It's such an unusual cut. Like I don't think I've ever seen this, or at least I haven't seen it recently. And this cardigan is comfy and cozy. Like this is a great look. It's so comfortable. I love the jeans are like flares, like fitted to the knee and then out. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Speaking of pajamas and disguise, we've got another set. So this is a really cool Hachi. I think you say it's called Hachi. I might have mispronounced that and someone will tell me in the comments and then I will learn and grow from it because that's what we do here. We learn and grow. But Hachi, I think, like wide leg bottoms. And then it has this like, again, my favorite, slightly cropped top, but this time long sleeve. This is my vibe. A twin piece set is my vibe most of the time. And with it, I got a big wide net long purple cardigan. Again, I'm trying to work more purple into my wardrobe because shock and awe, it actually looks really good on me and it's a color I've avoided. Where is the top? Oh, there's the top of this cardigan. So like, I thought this would be just like a cute little set. I often work from home and sometimes when I'm not getting in front of the camera, I like to put on clothes that make me feel like I got ready for the day, but are still really comfortable if I'm just like lounging around and really the only thing I'm doing is taking data outside. So this is like the perfect look for that. Um, so I'm excited and I hope this works out because it'll be something that'll be really useful for me. I love this duster cardigan. I love its drama. And the pants are like just at that cutoff line where they're okay length. I prefer them a little longer, but they're not too short. Look, it would not be a glitter and lasers haul without a little bit of ridiculousness. And when I saw this, I was like, I feel like I need to own this. It is a fringe set pink t-shirt dress. It looks, um, you know, fairly true to size. I, okay, I'm gonna tell you a story, guys. Every time I buy something with fringe, I get immediately excited. I'm like, this is gonna look so cute. And then I spend a good 45 minutes trying to get into the garment without having the fringe stuck somewhere unmentionable, like in my bra, like in my leg, in the strap. And it's just like, it feels like a Jenga puzzle to get into anything with fringe. Now this, because the fringe is lower, AKA like not up here, I think I'm gonna actually be able to get into this simply. And if that's the case, this is staying. Because I love a moment of fringe, I just don't like the extra work. It's, it's too much, right? But this, this might be just enough. I wanted to make a dramatic entrance because I will never be wearing this dress again. Um, I don't like the cut of it. I think that it's a little short. I honestly want more fringe. It feels sparse on, like it doesn't feel, I don't know, it doesn't have the vibe I wanted. It's just not, it's not it. It's not it. 
So that is everything we have from Arula. Again, this is a new brand to me. I know they have a sister brand, which I think is called Alter State, or maybe that's what this was called before. I don't know, it's a little bit confusing. Their website, it's vague. But I like that they're providing a little bit of a Western touch, which I don't think is available very readily for Plus. And I feel like their clothing is well-made. It is slightly more expensive than let's say like, a Walmart or a JCPenney or a Kohl's or something like that, but the quality is pretty dang good. So I'll let you know in my next haul from them how I felt about the items I purchased from this haul, but overall I'm impressed and I'm excited to try more. And that's why we try new brands, to just increase the options for everyone. With that, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. I'll check you later. Links to everything are down below and as I always say, what do I always end this with guys? It's like not a surprise anymore, right? I always do it. It's kind of lame, but it's also who I am. A little bit lame, but very kind hearted. <laughs> let me just try to, let me try to buffer that with a compliment. So I'm not like, I'm lame. Why are you watching someone lame? No, I'm not lame. I'm just, I'm just basic and I'm okay with that. So in my very basic self, I'm going to say,